Hey, thanks again for coming over to help me. I'm really sorry to have to bother you like this. Though I suppose that sounds a bit hypocritical when I'm always bothering you with things like that time I sent you a thousand text messages or the camera I put in your room. Oh, you didn't know about that. Well, now you know. Anyway, I don't know what I'd do without you, so thanks again. I mean it. After I fell out of that tree, my hands just haven't been the same. I can't even feed myself. So I really need you. The doctor said that it should be healed by the end of November, though, so I'm sure that'll be nice for the both of us. It's my fault, really, that I'm like this. I know I can always just spy on you from the camera, but it's just not the same as seeing you in person, you know? And I could always just ask to come over, but... I know you need your alone time, so that's why I watch from a distance. That's why I was in the tree, to get a better vantage point, to look at you, and also to camouflage myself a little bit. But I guess I was just so tired from always watching you, and not getting enough sleep, and that's why I fell out. <laughs> It's just every time it's time to go to bed, I think I could sleep or I could watch you. And I always end up watching you because, well, I need you more than sleep, darling. But enough about that. You've got all this food laid out for me. It looks so delicious and I just can't wait to dig in. But... Well, you know, my hands are out of commission, so you'll have to feed me. Isn't that just so romantic? I must be the luckiest boy in the world. Maybe I'll have to get injured more often. So come on, I'm ready for you. Give it to me. The food, that is. Mmm, so good. You know just how to treat me right. Oh, sorry, am I making you uncomfortable? I'm sorry, sweetie. You know I'd do anything to make you feel comfortable. Though it's going to be hard to do that when my hands are like this. We'll have to wait for them to heal. The good news is that we've got a romantic, cutesy way to pass the time. More hand feeding, please. It tastes even better when you're the one who's feeding me. You make everything better. You could be feeding me sand and I'd still gobble it right up. I love you, sweetheart. I love you with all my heart. It's always a joy to see you. I love you so much, I just can't stand to be away from you. When you're away from me, I get so anxious and I get all sweaty from it. I even got like that when you were taking too long in the bathroom earlier. I was so nervous being away from you for so long. Still a bit sweaty from it. Which means I should really take a bath, don't you think? But I can't do that all by myself now. Can I? No, I need your help. Yeah. Could you help me get out of my clothes? To undress me, layer by layer until I'm not hiding anything from you. And then you'd have to guide me into the tub 
since I'm so helpless right now and I need you but I can trust you can't I to take care of me because I know you'll always be there for me you always have been whether it's when you're not reporting me to the police for my latest obsessive shenanigans or something more innocent so what are you waiting for Take me to the bathroom. I can't wait a second longer. Okay. That looks like more than enough water to me. I think the bath is ready. All that leaves is me. You know what comes next, right, sweetie? You've got to get me out of these clothes. I can't take them off myself, obviously, which means I need you to undress me. You can even close your eyes while you strip me down if you want, if that will make you more comfortable. Or you could stare. I'm comfortable with either one, really. Oh, sweetheart, you don't have to be shy. You knew this part was coming. Besides, this wouldn't be the first time you saw me without anything on. Remember your birthday? You came home to find me in your bed, wearing nothing but a ribbon. You should have seen the look on your face. It was absolutely adorable and priceless. It made me want to hug you to death right there. It's a good thing the ribbon had me all tied up and restrained. So what are you waiting for? Undress me. There we go. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist. Out of the goodness of your heart, I'm sure. Well, now there's nothing left to take off. Take a good look. Not bad, right? I work hard to keep this body in shape for you. So I hope you can appreciate giving it a good look. Respectfully, of course. But okay, darling, I need your help now to get into the bath. Can you do that for me? Can you help me into the bath? Thank you. You're always such a sweetheart. I know I can always count on you. Oh, the water is so warm. It's just the right temperature for me. It's perfect. Mm. Thanks for having such great attention to detail. You're always so caring. You always know how to make me happy. I wish there was something I could do to repay you. Other than the eye candy I'm giving you, of course. Well, we'll see if there's anything I can do for you when December comes around. This is so romantic though, don't you think? Just me in the bath and you watching me. It's a shame I'm the only one who's exposed here, though. It does make me a lot more comfortable if it was the both of us, you know. If you got in with me, too. Well, that's just a suggestion. One I highly recommend, but it's just a suggestion. I sort of wish I was taking a shower instead. Then you'd have a stronger excuse to wash me all over with your bare hands. You could wash my naked shoulders. Then run your hands down my back. And you could even go lower.
as low as you want. So it's a shame that I'm taking a bath instead and I don't really have that excuse for you. But hey, now that I think about it, you don't really need an excuse to put your hands all over me, right? And it would be fitting, don't you think? I mean, I know I said this before, but I really do think this is just so romantic. I'm squealing inside. I feel like the only thing missing here is some nice, scented candles. Maybe some rose petals floating in the bath. But that's okay. All that really matters is that you're here with me. You're the one that makes the moment. I love you. I love you more than anyone has ever loved anything. I fell out of a tree while I was stalking you after all. I think that should tell you just how much I really love you. But still, it's not so bad falling out of that tree. Getting injured like this should have been one of the worst things to ever happen to me. But you managed to turn it into something sweet. I get to be spoiled by you like this. I get to have you hand feed me. I get to have you blush as you unclothe me, little by little, down to nothing. And I get to have you help me into the bath and watch over me and make sure that I'm okay and that everything is fine. Well, I'm okay. I'm more than okay. And it's all because of you, sweetheart. I love you. It's about time for me to go to bed. I really don't want to have to go to sleep. I want to stay awake with you. I wish this moment could last forever. I wish it could be just the two of us forever. There isn't anything I'd change about this moment. Well, other than adding in the candles and rose petals and also making it so that you're in the bath with me. But other than that, I wouldn't change a thing. This is just that perfect. You're just that perfect. I love you. But still, I should get some rest. Then I can see you again after I wake up. And I need to make sure you get your rest as well, sweetie. I need to make sure I'm taking care of you too, after all. This relationship can't just be you taking care of me. It can't be one-sided. I can't have that. You're too precious. So the both of us should really get some sleep. So do you think you could help me with that, darling? Do you think you could help me into bed? Just to tuck me in, of course. Well, I say that, but there's one other thing I need your help with, you see. Normally there's something I always do before bed. But I can't do it right now because I can't use my hands while I wait for them to heal. So I'll need your hands to help me with that. Please.